Leo was the favorite of his owner, but at the same time the cat highly valued his freedom and often went for walks. This walk of the cat was no different from the previous ones, except that he never returned in the evening. Maria, the cat's owner, started to worry, but still hoped that he was just playing around and would come back soon. The next day the cat still didn't show up, so the owner went to look for him. This story happened in a small town, so it quickly spread throughout the city and even visited the landfill on the outskirts, but Maria couldn't find Leo. The girl wrote a post on social media, asking other residents of the city to inform her if they saw Leo, but they also had no information. In one of the comments on the post, it was suggested to move the search to nighttime, as then the noise would not interfere with hearing the cat's meowing. Unbelieving in success, the woman decided to once again go around the city at night. Not far from home, Maria heard a sound that sounded very much like her pet's meowing, only it was coming from underground. Next to where the woman was standing, there was a sewer manhole and it was from the holes in it that the meowing was heard. The sound was quiet and during the day the woman wouldn't have been able to hear it over the noise of the cars. Maria couldn't understand how the cat managed to get under the manhole, as the openings were too small. She called the firefighters, as such situations in Italy are within their competence. The firefighters conducted an investigation and realized that the cat was stuck not under the manhole, but in the pipe that runs underground, so dismantling the manhole cover would not be enough for the rescue. It was necessary to get permission from the city council and dismantle part of the asphalt. A city official was called to the scene of the rescue operation, and he immediately started preparing the documents that would allow the dismantling of part of the asphalt and the saving of the animal. After a few hours, all the documents were ready, so the firefighters fenced off the street and started dismantling the asphalt. Soon the frightened Leo was already in the arms of his owner. The cat was weak and dehydrated, as he hadn't eaten or drunk for several days. The animal was lucky that the weather was clear during those days, as any rain could have caused the cat to drown in the water flowing through the pipe. Almost all the residents of the city followed Leo's rescue, and afterwards thanked the officials for going the extra mile, and the firefighters for their help. 